Hi, and welcome to our On Campus 101 webinar. So we're coming to you here with the start of school being tomorrow. We wanted to give you a chance to kind of learn the ins and outs of On Campus and other tips that you need to know. I'm Ms. Ashley Weehy, and joining me is Mrs. Dawn Schuler. She is our admissions director, and I am the communications manager for the high school. So tonight, we'll be going over a few things that you need to know, doing a walkthrough on On Campus. Uh, and just covering a couple of things that may have changed or just a couple of resources that you're going to need to know. So there is a Q&A box. If you have any questions as we go, you can use that or you can use the chat box. Or if you're watching this on a recording or think of anything later, you can email either of us. Um, it's info at clhscadets.com. And if you have any questions, just reach out to us or you can call the high school. All right, we're going to get started. I'm going to hand it over to Dawn to kick us off. Hi, um, thanks for uh, tuning in tonight. I'm Dawn Schuler. I'm the admissions and retention director at Concordia Lutheran High School. And the um, subject of tonight's webinar is On Campus 101. On Campus is the system that we use where we um, our teachers post grades, um, we have all kinds of resources on there. So we really, really encourage parents um, to go in and keep updated on their um, students' uh, pro progress in their class. Um, it's a good way to communicate with teachers on there too. Uh, their syllabus that they'll get for each class will be posted. Um, anyway, we'll go over and kind of show you what it looks like. But if you, to get started with, don't have your username and password, um, to get into on campus as a parent, that's something I can help you with too, or Karen Johnson can in the guidance office. So we'll get started with explaining on campus. All right, and so we have a short walkthrough that we're gonna show you. So. Um, if you have your computer handy, you can check this out if you want to log into cam on campus as we go. But otherwise, again, this will be a recording so you can reference back to it later. To go over with you on how to get into our on campus system um, that as a parent, you will um, find a lot of really good resources. You want to be able to utilize this system. So the easiest way to get into it is just to go to our homepage at clhscadets.com or if you google Concordia Lutheran High School Fort Wayne it'll come up toward the top. This is our homepage. Um, up here at the top of our homepage is a link, a quick link into on campus. You'll click on that and then you could save once you get into it, you could save it as a favorite or you can just go to the homepage every time and click on the link. So you're gonna enter your, your username and your password. If for some reason you have problems um, logging in, then just give me a call in the office. My name's Dawn Schuler, and the number there is 483-1102. My direct extension is 298. And you'll be able to um, get a hold of me and I can so tell you what your username is, reset your password if you're having problems. But we want all our parents to be able to get into our system. So at the top, um, you'll see I have three kids. JD and Olivia graduated already. So Sophie is my student that is currently at Concordia. And just inside of her page, um, I can see at the top what her school email address is. Um, make sure that the address is correct and phone number. If it's not and you need to update it, you would be able to go into the contact card and um, edit information in here. And then um, let's see, it also tells you her grade, who her advisor is, um, and then under progress report, this is where you would see what their current grade is. So right now, since they have not begun their classes yet, it doesn't show you what grade they're getting in the class. But once the um, teachers start putting in their grades, you can go in here and see um, what they're getting in each class, what, what assignments are due today, what was assigned. 
Um, if you want to know specifically in each class um, a breakdown of grades, you could go and click on it and you could see um, the syllabus. If your student says, I'm not sure what I did with my syllabus, I think I lost it, you know, you could click on it in here. Um, that's where you would get the information for that. I'm just going to go back to where we started. There's an attendance summary here you'll see. Um, and then the contact email for each teacher. So as a parent, if you want to get a hold of them, um, you would just click there and I'll take you in to where you can email them. Um, that's the information there. Once you get further on in the school year, report cards are posted here. Um, you can see uh, grades by semester, quarter. So that's their progress report. Their class schedule each day. Um, we haven't started class yet, but if I go into like Wednesday, the first day of school, I can see who Sophie has. Um, and with our block schedule, you know, you typically only have four classes a day. So this gives a breakdown. If I wanted to know what she had on Friday, I could click on Friday. And that would tell me Thursday. Um, if I want to view a full schedule, I can click there and take a look at her full schedule for the month. Assignments, um, you can click on that. There's not much to see now because she has not started school yet. Um, conduct, official notes, course request, that's more for when um, they do their course requests for the next year. Um, there'll be a time frame where that's open and parents can go in and help your student with that contact card we already kind of talked about. And then um, there's a medical tab there. So this would be what you would see when you click on your student up here. Then um, you're going to be able to go into resources where I think your page should default when you log in. And here is where you could connect to smart tuition. So you could see a breakdown of your payment plan that kind of information that is um, just a quick link into smart tuition for you. Lunch account, we use a program called sendmoneytoschool.com. You can go in and log in through here. Everyone gets a free lunch this year. We're using the national free lunch program. And let me try to log in again here. Not letting me because I didn't put email. So once you go into uh, where our lunch program is, um, you'll be able to see what your balance is. If you want to make a deposit and add more money. Now everyone receives the free lunch program because it's going to go on through the whole uh, school year, the National Free Lunch Program. But if your student wants to order something special like a la carte or Gatorade or something, then you would need to pay a little extra for that. And this is where you could load more money to their account. I believe there is a small fee to load it um, online, like with a credit card. But if you don't want to pay that fee, you can send a check in or cash. They can take it to the school office or um, they could take it to the cashier in the cafeteria when they um, pick up their lunch. So you'll be able to view activity. I'll break it down by um, student. If you want to edit anything, you can go in there. Um, school store, again, is where you're, you can load uh, more funds also. And then there's a breakdown of your account. So that's how the lunch program works um, inside of your lunch account. The lunch menu, if you click on there, it will show you all the different lunches for the month. You'll see we have a variety to choose from. This year we will be adding free breakfast. So um, you'll be able to go on here and see the free 
breakfast that we'll have each day also. You don't need to um, go online and order for your student this year. Last year, we had parents come, go on and, online ahead of time and order lunches. This year, everyone will just go down to the cafeteria and pick it out. So you can see we have quite a few hot lunches, we have options there, cold lunches, um, and then they'll have other additional a la carte items that your student could get. It's printer friendly too, so if you wanna print it out, um, so you have it on your refrigerator or something, that's certainly something that you could do. I'm gonna go back here, go into um, uniform orders. This is just uh, linking to our website where you can order more school uniforms. And again, if you order those before the 15th of the month, it will um, be, um, you'll be able to get those items in by the 30th of the same month. They arrive in the school office and Sally Niedermeyer would get a hold of you to let you know when they arrive. Our daily bulletin is an e-newsletter that goes out daily to your student, but if you wanna get it, you can too. Um, this takes you to a link where you can uh, click and then see the daily bulletin. This is what it looks like. Our last daily bulletin went out on May 27th. And this is um, just, it, you'll see where it lists the daily schedule, announcements, lunch menu, um, who has, who, which teacher is going to be overseeing detention, uh, all our birthdays, athletic announcements, a job board, uh, if we have uh, job opportunities, um, school counseling, scholarships, lots of information there. Then our daily schedule, if you want to see this links you to our website for if, if you want to see kind of how it's broken down typically each day for A, B, C, D, and E schedule. Then um, there's a delay schedule. If you're wanting to know what days are A, B, C, or D, or E, um, this will take you through the whole semester. You now it's a lot of information. Um, We'll go back to here. You can go into the student parent handbook. That will link you there. This is a link to Moodle um, for students. That's a program they'll use. Our school calendar, if you're wanting to um, know when um, a game is or another activity, that's the school calendar. And Spirit wear, if you want to order spirit wear because you're going to a football game and you want to have something that says Concordia on it, you'll be able to go in here. This will link you to where you can order um, spirit wear on our website. Summer programs and camps, those are all um, concluding already. So um, when next year comes around, you'll be able to go in there and that'll be a shortcut to see where what summer programs and summer camps we offer. If you have another student and you want to apply, uh, for them to attend Concordia, this is what you would go into and just begin another application. Course requests, that's for when we go into uh, the end of the school year and they're putting in their course requests for the next year. Cadet Athletics, that'll take you into um, our athletic page. And then when we live stream sports, this is a link that takes you to our YouTube page where you can watch those. Um, when we post important documents, this is an area we can do that in. And financial aid information, this is just showing you on our website where we have a list of all our different scholarships and financial aid. And of course, if you have a new student, we want them to get involved. So besides athletics, we have all kinds of clubs and activities. This is just a list on our website of all those activities. So we have all kinds of resources there for you to be able to go in and access as a parent.
So especially if you are the parent of an incoming new student, it's important to, to get onto on campus and kind of make sure they're turning in their assignments on time um, that where they are with their grades so you can get a handle on it. So it's not the end of the quarter or the end of the semester and you had no idea. So that's always um, a good thing to stay on top of. And the first day of school is tomorrow. I think when I was looking at Sophie's schedule, I pointed to Wednesday. So don't get confused by that. The first day, official day of school for everyone is tomorrow. Today was new student orientation. Tomorrow's the first day of school starting at 8 a.m. and going through 310. Okay, Ashley, do you wanna go over the next portion? Yeah. So you've all seen at this point a little bit of the website. I encourage you to just get on our website if you haven't done that already and just look around at the different options that we have. So we have quick links up here. This is where you're gonna see that calendar, that student schedule so that you know the rotation and what kind of block or what class goes after what class. Academic calendar, this is where you're getting when spring break is, when different days off. So this is important. This is contact us. This has everyone's contact information for the school. Staff directory, that's where you're gonna see a list of all the employees at Concordia and Moodle as Dawn mentioned. But in here, you're gonna see a lot of great information. You're gonna see the back to school plan. You're gonna see the different academic programs. And one of the big things that we want to make sure that you're checking out is the student parent handbook. So that's right off of the academics tab. So if I click into that, there's a lot of great resources in here. We're working on cleaning this up a little bit because this is the first year that we've had this completely online. But one thing I do want to point out is if you're wondering about how the grading scale works, that is available in here. This is something that your students' teachers will go over with them in class as, to far, as far as to which grade, which scale falls under which. So they'll definitely be getting that in there. But I wanted to let you know where all this information is. Also, I want to point out that we have a Concordia Parents Facebook page. So if you go to facebook.com slash group slash CLHS parents, and then there's a couple questions that you answer. Essentially, it's just asking you what your name is and what your student's name is and what grade that they're in. That's just to verify to make sure that we're only having Concordia Lutheran High School parents in this group, but it's a great resource. You'll see a lot of uh, comments in there. People um, talk about polos that they're giving away or I put announcements in there about things that are coming up. So it's a great group to be in so that you're making sure that you're staying up on information. One of the other things that I want to point out is that we have an app. So if you go on the app store and search Concordia Lutheran High School in Fort Wayne or Concordia Fort Wayne is one of those two. Keep in mind that there is a Concordia Lutheran High School in Texas. So just look for the one that's um, for Fort Wayne. We have a lot of great resources in here. This is another link where you can get onto on campus. Uh, you can get the daily bulletin, the staff directory, a lot of great information in there, and we encourage you to download that and learn some more about that. Keep in mind as we're going, I know that we're throwing a lot of information at you, but if you have any questions, please throw them in the chat or put them in the Q&A. We'll answer them as we go along or at the end. So I'm going to cover a couple of other things that have changed and just uh, updates for some new parents that we have. New this year is that we have a new sign-in system at our front desk. This means that everyone who comes in will present their license for Mrs. Niedermeyer or whoever happens to be working the reception desk to scan and you'll get a visitor badge for to walk around our building. It's a we scan everyone through a school safety database just to make sure you know we're keeping our students safe and once you're in the database once then she doesn't have to scan you for the rest of the year. She just needs to get your name and you don't have to present your license every time. And then also dropping off items in the main office. So in the this past year, because of COVID, we had you dropping them off at a table. 
This year, we're gonna have you take them into the main office. Still make sure that your student's name is plainly visible on that. So if they left their device at home or their lunch or something like that, just bring it into Mrs. Niedermeyer in the main office and she will be able to help you out with that. As a note, please remember that we do not allow parents to bring in fast food for their students. It just is something that's become cumbersome in the past, so we don't allow that. We also, to help keep everyone informed, we have a weekly newsletter called our Concordia in Contact newsletter. You will receive that on a weekly basis. We generally send it out on Wednesday. It has a lot of great information about what's going on with the school. We put in alumni spotlights, faculty spotlights, um, exciting news about our students or alumni. So you'll automatically receive that because you're a parent. But just keep an eye out for that. If you're not receiving it, please let us know. Please send me an email. Again, info at clhscadets.com and we'll make sure that you're on the list. Also, as Don mentioned earlier, the daily bulletin. Every parent actually gets that on a daily basis because we want you to know the kind of information that we're telling the students. So that'll be coming daily in your email. We know that sometimes it can feel like a lot of emails are coming from the school because you are going to be getting that on a daily basis. You're going to be getting the newsletter on a weekly basis. You'll get emails from your teachers, from the guidance counselors, but they're all important. Know that we try to put important subject lines so that you know, is this something that I need to read? Can I skim it? Can I look at it later? So just keep an eye out for those kind of things. And uh, just make sure that you're not unsubscribing because then you won't be getting any of the information from us. I can take this question as we are going along. So we had a question about lunch. So how it's going to be this year is it's actually broken up where students are able to eat. So all students will get their food from the cafeteria, but the seniors will eat in the cafeteria and the freshmen, sophomores, and juniors will eat in the classrooms in the academic wing. They are actually assigned that. So if you look on your student's schedule, you can see where they are assigned for lunch. And then also for school closings, if we ever have a delay or a closing for any reason, please make sure that your cell phone number or any kind of contact information is up to date in our database. So just as Dawn was showing you in on campus, that information that's in there in your contact card is what we have to contact you. So say that we have a delay or we have a closing because of snow, weather, whatever it may be, we will text you that morning. Usually those texts, I wanna say coming in about 6 a.m. We try to get them out pretty early. I think the latest is maybe 6.30 so that as you're planning to come in, and we'll also put things on the local radio and TV. So if you watch Wayne or ABC or any of those, that'll show up as the school closing list. And also all this is to get ready for our back to school night, which is on Thursday night. That'll start at 6.30. This is essentially kind of one of those first parent teacher conferences of the year. You get a chance to walk around the school meet all your students, teachers, and have one-on-one -on -one conversations with them. We'll also hear from our administrators and they'll give you some information that'll help with back to school. For seniors, 5.45, there's going to be a special senior parent meeting. So please put that on your calendar. 5.45 for seniors, 6.30 for everyone else. All right, well, Don, I think that I've covered most of my items. Did we have any other questions come in? Um, no, I don't see any other ones that are popping up right now. Okay, great. Well, again, we know that we threw a lot of information at you. We'll still be on here for a couple minutes. If you have some other questions that you wanna ask, if you wanna throw them in the Q&A or the chat, please do. Or if you have a question that maybe we missed, please throw it in the Q&A or the chat again, or send us an email, info at clhscadets.com. It looks like we did have another question about on-campus accounts. 
So the question was, can a parent have an on each individual parent have an on campus account? Yes, you're going to find this, especially as you go to sign your enrollment contract for next year. Each individual parent has their own login. As long as you're connected to your child, then you'll be able to log in as yourself. So Dawn would be able to log in and her husband would also be able to log in and see Sophie's information. So if you're having any problems with logging in, don't feel like you always have to go in under one account. We can fix it so that um, both parents are able to log in. You'll only see the enrollment contract on one parent though, assigned to one parent. Right, once one parent starts that. signing that, then it only will be seen by one parent. Don't worry about enrollment contracts right now. That's something that'll come in May to set you up for the next school year. There is a um, charge for a parking permit. It's $35. And um, I think that can be done at student services or don't they purchase it, Ashley, through um, like their, their cart on um, smart tuition? Either way it can happen. So you can go see Mr. Brockman, tell the students to stop by student services. You can bring cash or check. Or if you wanna pay with a credit card, go into your smart tuition account and it's that purchase other items, I think is what it's called, and just go in there to purchase. If you have any questions though, call Mr. Brockman, he'll be able to get you set up. Yes, so we have a question about Thursday. So tomorrow is our first full day of school. We have school. Oh, I know what you're asking about. You're asking about the back to school event. Sorry, let me clarify on that. Your student can come. That is uh, completely up to you. So they are welcome, but this is meant to be a parent event. This is meant to be something to give you more information than what you had, um, received otherwise. We're having a special assembly with the students tomorrow to give them a little bit more information as they start the week. So again, the it's meant for parents, but bring your students along if you want to. And again, that starts at 6.30. It's in person on Thursday, back to school night. When is the latest date? Will I need to get my student's device? Um, We need it, they need it as soon as possible. They're, they're using it tomorrow at school. So I would definitely get it as soon as possible because they need to get it registered um, so that they are connected to our Wi-Fi, their email, Moodle, um, all those different um, apps and things that they're gonna be, be needing to use in class. So I would definitely get that as soon as possible. And we've opened up the type of devices that students can use. It really depends on the kind of classes that they're in. Um, some, an iPad's just fine. Some, a Chromebook's just fine. Some, a laptop might be better. Um, I know for some of my classes where they're doing graphic design and not and whatnot, having a laptop is actually really helpful, but it's not necessary. So just um, depending on what your family situation is, might be what uh, would be uh, best for your family, but there's a lot of options. Um, Jen is asking, how can you update student contact information? Again, that would be inside of on campus. Once you log in and click on your student's name, you can click on the tab that says con contact card, and then um, you can click on edit, and that will allow you to go in and update phone numbers, emails, addresses, all that information. If you have any problems with that, Karen Johnson in the guidance office can also help you get that updated, but that would be the easiest way to do it. All right. Well, if no, nobody has any other questions at this point, we will be signing off. Again, this will be recorded and sent out, and we thank you all for joining with us tonight. Have a great night. Thank you. Bye.